Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would like to share with you an unboxing and uh, preview of my Rough Rider Brown Stackbone Hogbill. So this is yet one of uh, one of the Brown Stackbone line knives you can you can get from Rough Rider. Is by far uh, the largest uh, collection they have. Uh, let me check my notes here a little quick. So it looks like uh, they have uh, 25 different models in uh, this uh, series. Like all new Rough Riders, uh, this is uh, the type of the box you can expect. So nice, uh, sturdy, hard uh, cardboard box with a magnetic flap. I forgot to mention the model number. So this is RR1797. And let us see this uh, beautiful knife. So as you can see, the, the Rough Rider Hogbill is a, a pruner or a puring knife or a gardening knife, uh, which is used to cut down uh, different kinds of uh, different kinds of. Uh, stuff in your garden, maybe on your tree, uh, fruit, of course. So let me give you the quick specs, real quick right here. So we have an over length of 17.8 centimeters or 7 inches. The blade is 8 centimeters or 3.1 inch. The blade width is 4.4 centimeters, so this is the widest part around here, or 1.7 inch, so really nice and wide right there and uh, we have a blade thickness of 2.6 millimeters uh, that is of course at the heel uh, of the blade and that is uh, 0 0.14 inches the handle length is 10.4 centimeters or 4.1 inch the handle thickness is 1.3 centimeters or 0 0.5 inches. The blade, uh, like usually we have on Rough Riders, is made out of 440A stainless steel with a beautiful mirror polish finish. Uh, we have laser, laser engraved the model number China N440 razor sharp and stamped the Rough Rider logo right there. The handle is made out of this beautifully uh, jigged or cut stake bone with uh, different shades of brown, light and dark. Some of these uh, knives in this series have also a burgundy, almost deep red uh, color tint to them. The pins, of course, and uh, liners are made of brass, and we have a nickel bolster, a nickel silver bolsters, and shield. Shield type, like on all brown stick bones, is the bars and stripes. Rough Rider. And these uh, shields were probably made uh, uh, in an earlier time when they produced these knives because. Uh, it still has uh, the old Rough Rider writing on there. Now at 20, probably also 2020 and 2021, you have a Rough Rider with Y. And the weight, uh, this knife comes at 90 grams or 3.2 ounces. It has a really nice half stop at 90 degrees. Closing is nice and smooth. Opening is medium, so definitely not a nail buster right there. We have a nailing opening feature right there. Uh, let me show you the, the finish on the blade. So definitely you can see the mirror finish, but on some parts we have uh, some kind of scuffing and smudging there. Definitely I can say that it's not uh, smudging, it's scuffing. And that is because... Uh, uh, 
let's face it guys uh, these are not not perfect and uh, even because of the price you cannot expect a completely uh, mirror polish uh, style blade like uh, let's say on a uh, $1,000 custom so uh, that uh, let me uh, uh, let me get into the pricing so these are priced at $14.99 so you get a you get a hell of a nice knife for a, a lot of uh, so I say for a low price point so these are a nice value there you see the scuffings there uh, the blade centering so uh, that is probably uh, hit and miss some of them uh, will have a perfect centering uh, some of them will uh, favor one side that is definitely you should expect when you are getting a rough rider definitely I must say uh, the brown smooth bone uh, is a really beautiful example of this uh, large uh, pruning knife. Let me bring out uh, my first hog wheel from Rough Rider. Uh, I don't know if these are still in production. So this was the yellow acrylic with this a nice shield right there so definitely uh, you can see uh, consistency in the quality and also uh, the fit and finish right there these are really nice and smooth well, definitely I have saw, uh, saw some really rough edging on uh, this kind of price point well on this one we have really no sharp corners nice and rounded smooth to the touch so definitely i can highly recommend uh, now like always i try to do uh oh i forgot uh, let me show you the the sharpness because that is i'm terrible at that and i almost constantly forget to test the sharpness so here's the sharpness out of the box so this is really decent i would not say it is razor sharp it is really sharp but i definitely can feel the toothness and on some parts also uh, a little bit of uh, blunting there mostly here in the inside curve but definitely uh, you can use some kind of of honing uh, ceramic honing rod to sharpen it up this is after all 440a so no problems there so now let's continue with the size comparisons so here is the work knife from Rough Rider, one of my favorite small knives, the Peanut, also in brown stick bone, the small stockman in midnight swirl acrylic, another beautiful knife, the 1507 from uh, Brother. Then let's continue with more oh, known or used knives. So here's the Kershaw Skyline. Red Model 2. Red Model 1. Spider Co. Delica Small Griptilian Tribal Lock from Case Spider Co Endura 
buck toothpick okay by dozer Kaiser pinch Buck Vantage Pro and the last one here on the table is the large reptilian from Benchmade okay so this was the Rough Rider uh, Brown Stickbone Hogbill if you have any questions please leave comments down below I will post also the link to the site when you can go check it out if you have any questions I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can Please leave comments down below. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. If you are not, then please consider subscribing. I try to release at least three videos per week, mostly knife and gear oriented, but sometimes also my other hobbies and uh, things that I collect. So, wish you a wonderful day. Thank you for your time and see you soon. Bye.